here so long with my eyes on me Too deaf to hear, too blind to see uh. Broken hearts on the city streets, but I can hear that you're calling me to Be the hope, be the light, be the love right now I've been out of boot sales for quite some time now and I, I consider myself uh, quite fortunate about some of the bargains I've found. Um, uh, and I've done quite a few videos with uh, with uh, some of my hauls on and the things that I uh, I pick up in over the period of the weeks and months and what have you. But um, very recently, in the last two or three weeks, uh, I've, I've, I've not really found that much, to be honest. I've been going on car boot sales and I start to think that either people just keep bringing the same stuff and I kind of wiped them out or maybe it was something else anyway I noticed that there was this one guy there's this one trader that goes on all these car boot sales and he has, a, he has about three tables that he sets up uh, and he has loads and loads and loads and loads of transformers on there and all that. I'm thinking here we go this should be quite good uh, anyway um, I've asked him prices of stuff, and it's astronomical. Like last week, uh, there were a Sentinel Prime uh, on this uh, on this guy's stall. I says, "How much for this?" And he went, "That will be five pound." I went five, and it weren't in great condition. I'll be honest, but he's obviously seen a niche. He's seen he's seen that these things are worth quite a bit of money. So, um, uh, he's what he's doing is in the morning. He's setting up early. He's got one of his little little mates to look after his stall. And then he's clearing all the uh, car boot sales out, like a lot of traders do. And I understand that a lot of traders do that. Well, this guy is just is taking everything. And I thought it was, I thought I was being paranoid. I really did. I thought oh, this bloke's just wiping everything out. Anyway, there's three big car boot sales that's near me. There's a uh, there's the one there that's closest to where I live. There's one that's out in the Derbyshire Dales a little bit, and then there's one that's just off the M1. Uh, and I tend to one's on a Saturday afternoon, uh, and the other two are well. One's on the other one is on a Saturday afternoon as well, but it also does a Sunday morning. The one closest to me does a Sunday morning. This morning I got up and I went to the one that's closest to me, and lo and behold, this bloke's on this uh, on this thing again. He's got even more transformers than before. It's Sentinel Prime still sat there. I said uh, uh, what I did. I thought, well, I'll ask how much some smaller ones were. So I picked up this little. Like a little Galvatron, I think it was like a little mini one. How much for this, mate? Uh, he wanted two pound fifty for one that's like a a Legends type size. So oh, two pound fifty. And he went. He says you asked me prices before, and he, he recognised me because I, I do go on car boot sales a lot, and I see this block quite often. I went, yeah. I, I said, yeah. And he went, this is all a game. It's a game. I, I, he, he was. He was. Of Eastern European uh, descent, so I don't un exactly understand what he were trying to get at. Uh, uh, and I just went right, okay. I says it's too much, you know that, don't you? And he says, he says no, he says very collectible. Uh, and uh, he, I think he's seen one of those programs that have been on recently uh, about how collectible transformers are. And I think a lot of people are getting wise to it. I really do. Uh, and so anyway, this morning I went to car boot sale near us. Uh, I went all the way around where I normally used to pick up two or three transformers on a car boot sale, even little ones. I went around the one the nearest us, and it was a good day today. There were plenty of cars there. Uh, nothing, squat, no there at all. So what I did, I thought, right, I'm just going to check. I'm not paranoid. So. I went to the other track, the other car boot sale that was on at the same time, which was about 20 minutes drive away. Uh, smaller, but quite nice, quite a nice little. As a, I'm, I'm still here now, and I went onto the stall, and uh, I've only been here about 10-15 minutes, and I found these two, and I've already got one of these, but uh, this one's in slightly better condition because the other one's got some legs missing. This one's got one leg missing, but I can cannibalise it off the other. Uh, Scope knock, and I found this little guy. Both on different uh, stalls, both sat on the tables, so people haven't been going around this place and uh, wiping it out. So, this bloke's really, he's turning into my nemesis, uh, and uh, he's really starting to get on my wick. I don't know what to do about him. Um, I've started buying uh, a few job lots off of eBay and trying to scour that, trying to find some bits and bobs. I'm just going to have to keep at it and see it's just going to be a waiting game, I'm afraid. So... 
I have got some uh, Transformers to do uh, as, a, as a video later and uh, I will be doing that. So, see you later.